Recognizing names has been a topic of discussion in the Dialogflow community for a while. Um, there were always limitations, quite big limitations, as to what kind of names could be recognized using the system entities. Uh, well, the old system entities, which were given name and last name, uh, usually, yeah, the, the name, the list of first names you could recognize as a first name was quite limited and very, very much focused on Western type names. But recently, I'm not actually sure when, I just discovered it a couple of days ago, Dialogflow, the Dialogflow team uh, published a new entity which is called System Person. And actually, it is way more flexible than the previous given name and last name entities, which are now deprecated. Um, so it makes uh, name recognition for us Dialogflow developers more flexible because we can ask the user for a name and they can choose to give us either their for first name or their last name or their full name. Uh, perhaps adding their middle name as well if they have one. So it's very flexible and also the range of names that can be recognized using this new entity is way bigger than before. So I went ahead and created a super simple chatbot which just exists, um, consists out of one intent. So the I have a name parameter here and I'm using the system.person entity. And then I've got some training phrases. Those names, you might recognize them from my previous videos on extended name recognition. And now I can go ahead and check out what, uh, yeah, how powerful actually the new person system entity is. And I can see that, for example, Gandalf the Grey is recognized. Uh, I tried Han Solo as well. Zebra Jones, which is a name that I made up myself, uh, also works. So here I didn't really, I didn't program any um, follow-up intents or even answers. I'm just parsing the uh, user input here and see if the name parameter is assigned properly. So for these English sounding Western type names, it works very well. We have uh, we can do this one, which is a bit more complex. Of course, it's a meaningful person in history, but still it works, even though it's a combination of four words. Um, then I went ahead and did some research on uh, common first names, last names in other parts of the world. Like this is a Israeli Jewish type name and it also works. Then I went ahead and tried some Korean names. So it still works. Um, and also Indian names. So it, we can see that it's way more powerful than what we previous had, previously had with the given name and last name entity. But still there are exceptions where it does not work yet. 100% actually this one does but I found well I didn't find it I just made up a combination of Korean names here and there we can see um, so in Korea usually the the give the family name comes before the first name so this is the first name which is made up of two parts and it only picks up the first part so here we can still uh, do something and then what else? Uh, let's try this French name. Actually, I forgot to see here. It's a, a French Jewish name actually that I made up. And then we can see again that it, it only picks up the last name here. So while it is way more powerful, there's still um, some edge cases where it might not work. So I came up with a slightly extended um, bot solution. I just need to find it. It's called first name, last name. So now I actually went ahead and created two intents, one for the first name, one for the last name. And uh, I'm using the 
system person entity again to um, recognize the name but then I'm assigning it to different parameters so here in the first name intent I'm assigning it to a first name parameter so let's see if this solves our edge cases um, so I programmed this welcome intent that's now triggering the first name intent um, and then what did we have we wanted to do this one so now I'm just going to enter the first name Jacques yeah so now we can see works pleased to meet you pleasure to meet you Jacques and what's your last name right. it is this one and it also seems to work last name I'm not sure why there's no answer maybe I forgot to give an answer let me just check Oh, it's so slow again. In the meantime, let me look for another. Yeah, so let's go with our Korean name and try this one next. Um, okay, for some reason, the text response didn't come here, but let's just do this again. Let's see if it works next time. Howdy, what's your first name? So now my first name is Jaysuk. And my uh, last name is, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I uh, my Korean is not existent. So. Okay, and now we see that it successfully pulled out the first name and the last name if we separate it into two intents so and we have the answer here as well so with this technique i think you have an almost bulletproof name recognition i'm sure the dialog flow team is still working on the system dot person entity so at some point soon maybe you don't even need to need this technique but for now it might be um it might work for you as a uh, crutch for some time. Um, I did wanted to show another limitation though, so I went ahead and researched some Hungarian names. And now I believe this one still doesn't work. So let me demo this again. Howdy, what's your first name? I'm sorry about the speed. I'm not sure what's happening. It is loading now. I really wish the uh, Dialogflow front-end app was a little bit faster. Yeah, so this first name still seems not to be recognized so there's still limitations apparently maybe Hungarian names weren't so much part of the training data for the system.person entity but I'm sure it will improve it will be improved cool I hope this is useful let me know what you think and if you have any other suggestions or experiences with this